People get complacent, especially when you live on the island, you've been there for 30 years, right? So you get, you get sometimes jaded or biased. But really what I was doing on that, for that target was, you know, Mount Peyton is mostly a gabbro. And gabbros are very, very, a good host rock, like basically to hold these deposits. So then you had some till and you've seen the structure in the geophysics. So me as a researcher in a probability scale, that was kind of a no-brainer that we should stake it because we're the first people to ever soil sample it. And then lo and behold, there was a whole bunch right on our northeast corner of the boundary. There's probably a dozen gold showings and they actually got age dated at 419 million years old. That's that 410 plus or minus 10. So right there in the right mark <laughs> with the right age in the gabbro. So why not look for the rest of it? But someone told me that the reason why historically all them showings are along that border is because 30 years ago, that's where the road ended when Naranda was doing their prospecting and her exploration. So they just found it at the end of the road. Since then, there's roads everywhere on Mount Payton.